In this tutorial, we'll discuss multi-list matching. We saw in the previous tutorial how lists can have different dimensions, and how input that requires one-dimensional data can require a multi-dimensional list to be flattened. The converse can also be true. Multi-lists can also be deepened so that input can match data from a higher dimensional list. Matching lists means that the paths of the list have to match. We'll illustrate this with an example of a grid. Choose Grid Rectangular Grid. Set the number of cells along the width as 3 and the number of cells along the height as 2. This creates a grid with three rows of four points each. Add a preview node and connect it to the points output of the grid. The list of grid coordinates is a two-dimensional list. There are three lists of four points each. The points in the first row are prepended by 0, 0, 0, and each point in this row has a unique identifier. The points in the second row have 0, 0, 1 with repeated identifiers. The points in the third row have 0, 0, 2. Choose Display Point List and connect it to the same point output. This displays the point coordinates next to each point. You can also change the font or color of the text. Change the point display mode to Path. This reflects the path in curly brackets and identifier in square brackets for each point. Now let's say we want to move these three rows of points using different translation vectors for each row. One way to do this is by multi-list path matching. For the vector values, add a series node. Set the minimum value to 0.4 and the step also to 0.4. The number of elements should be 3, the same as the number of rows in the grid. Add a vector node and connect the series output to the vector z value. Add a preview node to the vector output to see the three vectors, each separated in the z direction by 0.4. The list of vectors is a one-dimensional list. All vectors have the path 0, 0, but this needs to be a two-dimensional list to match the paths of the grid points. To fix this, choose Multi-List, Deepen Multi-List and attach the vector output as the list to deepen. Connect another preview node to the deepened output. Now the translation vector list is two-dimensional. There are non-zero numbers in the last element of the paths. This matches the two-dimensionality of the list of points. Now we can move the points using the translation vectors. Add a move node and connect the points output as the geometry to move. Connect the deepened multilist as the move vectors. Turn off the preview of the current point list and add a new point list. Connect it to the move output to visualize the moved points. When the display mode is set to position, we can see that the first row of four points moved up to z equals 0.4. The second row moved to 0.8 and the third row moved to 1.2. Switching the display to path, the paths match what was there before the move. The first row with path 0, 0, 0, the second row with path 0, 0, 1, and the third with path 0, 0, 2. What this means is that the move node matched paths between points and vectors. The vector with path 0, 0, 0 was applied to the points with path 0, 0, 0. The vector with path 0, 0, 1 was applied to points with 0, 0, 1, and so on. 